Oh, how could this have happened? It looks like we need to look over our security system again. Are you the chief? I'm bringing this bureau under our party's control. You should now obey me. Otherwise, we will use force. Chief, you recognize me, right? I'm the president's son, Death Amazel. I'm still alive! Can you retract the news of my death right away? Please? I'm sorry. What? See? Told you so. You don't have to act so surprised. We all knew this was gonna happen. Big Sis is right. We really should have taught him a lesson by inflicting trauma. We printed the article about your death under orders of the Corruptiment. We can't retract it, even if you wish us to. Not even if that person comes and asks? Can't believe this! Then, can you tell my father that I'm here? Then he'll... The President was made aware of this situation quite a while ago. Huh? What do you mean? I sent him the video footage of you cowardly running away and getting knocked out. Along with a note that read, If you want to keep this video of your pathetic son out of the public eye, stay out of my lord's way. That's blackmail! Oh. Ma. God. That's so nasty, you monster! It's a reasonable yet effective negotiation strategy. Bring the advantage to your side before the battle starts. It's a basic tactic. Then... Father knew I was alive! That's correct. He issued that article knowing that you were still alive. It's just like how a lizard discards its tail to evade danger. Your father is pretty good. So... Father discarded me? Don't let this bring you down. Big Sis and Desko are in the same boat. Yeah, kids don't need their parents to grow up, so don't give up on yourself just yet. <laughs> it's, it's not like I was in complete denial about this earlier. There's no way that Father wouldn't know about a news article that was issued by the Corruptorment. But, but I, I just didn't want to believe it. To uphold the tenets of the Information Bureau, we can't allow someone who has been reported dead to run around. We have to protect our credibility at all costs. Sir Amizel, are you prepared? Prescott, you're not going to give up now, are you? Does your existence completely rely on your identity as the President's son, after all? But... Father discarded his only son. I guess he got tired of me. Since his death, I have yet to take a single human soul. Would you prefer to die? Die? Me? Right now? No! No, no way! Then fight! You died once, so fight back as if you were still dead! like you were making a righteous comment, but something's wrong. Fight? Against what? Your daddy, of course. We may have different goals, but we're all rebels from Hades who wish to take over the regime. Who else would we fight? You're telling me to fight the corruptorment My own father? The time has come for you to make a decision, Rascal. If you choose to die here, I won't stop you. If you choose to live, and prove you exist, then come with me. Uh, I... 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 My word, we can't afford to have you ninjas and flowers and dragon zombies run around. Oh, <laughs> God, I, bad acting. Ah, uh, yeah, first really tough 
battle in the story. The layout is just not kind to you. Um, those monsters, they're gonna fuse. I'll teach you a lesson. And um, that professor, bureau chief, um, she has double. She's dual with magic change wielding. So, with Mothman guns, so she can hit me from afar with her annoying skills, and she can um, attack twice in a row because she's holding two guns. And if I attack from close range against her, 50% uh, chance evasion. Really annoying. And she's on attack 50 plus on <laughs> attack plus 50% panel. Yay. Um, so, it takes a while just to get up there, and there's warp panels down here at the bottom, so... I, I'm, I think I'm trying to see, uh... If I can throw myself over there? You know, I can't really recall. Um, the warp would just send me all over the place, and if I don't have my entire party up in the corner at the same time, I'm, I'm just gonna get wiped out. So, I have to really plan this carefully. Oh yeah, they flew. Yes, and that they That's one big badass bitch. So we get to girl. Oh, I'm sorry, she wasn't dual wielding. She has a giant magic change mothman. So I, I just took all my characters out the first turn just to get them spread around. I'm not even quite sure what why I bothered doing that. Should have just put one character out and see where the enemies were wound up. I guess I was hoping for some to be near the top. Also later, I, I think I make the mistake of getting rid of the warp panel effect. I guess not the mistake. Wow, that's weird. I guess not the mistake because it ended up being helpful, but I did it at the wrong time. I did it too soon. Yeah, like I said, this this fight just took forever. Um, I should have taken advantage. Of, I should have had uh, more shoes in my inventory and done the shoe switch trick. Although I haven't seen me, myself do this fight in a while. And I don't even remember what that uh, aqua block in the corner does. Yeah, this fight will take a while, so I'm just enjoying my lunch. Got myself some, uh, you know, Campbell's soup, just tomato. Uh, but, uh, I'm a spice whore, so what I do is after I make it, I add a lot of, uh, I added cayenne, Tabasco, and black pepper to it. It's a fiesta in my mouth. Message, really? Anyway, uh, okay, that was the warp panel. Uh, should have held on to until they warped a bit closer. That was my folly. Now you all have to watch me <laughs> run all the way up there. Take this! I don't even throw a lot. I don't know why. I'm just a little. I was a little impatient. I I almost I think I had like two characters left at the end of this map. A lot of good soldiers died that day. I mean, they came back at the hospital for a small fee, but you know, dying hurts. How would you like getting shot by a giant moth gun? That's good monster. Here I come! Who in there? I say, how come you haven't started my review yet? I'm sitting here waiting. But I'm enjoying my soup. When else are you going to have this opportunity? Hmm. Yes, Professor. Yeah, let's read the Professor! 
Yeah! Oh my guy behind me. This is one of the, uh... This is a new class to this guy of four, and... Honestly, I can't remember another love another level in the story mode that had this class. So, might as well take the advantage now. It took me forever to unlock this class, but now that I have, it might be my second favorite after Magic Knights. Alright, let's get to it. Doo -doo -doo. Hope they don't spill soup in my guide. Yeah. Ah, the professor. Professors are the opposite of sorcerers, which I haven't touched base on yet. Uh, this class directly raises the stats of allied characters so that they can survive longer, fight harder, and defeat tougher enemies. Professor abilities make support magic much more effective, and spells like Braveheart are best used by professors. The challenge is that professors don't automatically learn any of the spells that they're born to cast. You have to either spend time in another class, or you can farm mana and go into Kara world to inherit the spells you want. Get Braveheart, boost its ranks, and use the spell to make your best damage dealers that much better. Also, grab Teaching License as soon as possible and always deploy your professor during battles. The 20% experience boost is notable, especially during fast leveling maps. So that's one... Believe it or not, that's not the main reason you want a professor. It, it, it's a great reason. Um, yeah, their last ability, Teaching License, all allies on the map gain 20% experience. <laughs> yeah, th this this makes level grinding oh so much better. Does it compound with other professors? I couldn't tell you, because I'm not sure. Um, that's a question for Game Facts. Um, but yeah, the, these are just the the ultimate support class, and they're. They're pretty badass looking too. I really like the the hot se uh, teacher look. Um, no, I don't have any fantasies or fetishes. That. Anyway, um, but here's the main problem. Not only does uh, they're a bitch to unlock, especially when the guy gives you incorrect information. How to, how to unlock? Raise a healer and a sorcerer to level 20 or higher. Bleh, wrong. What you need is a sorcerer and um, an Onyo monk at level 20 or higher. Well, how do you get those classes? To get a sorcerer, raise a magician and a witch to level 15 or higher. Okay. To get an Onyo monk, raise a sorcerer and a ninja to level 30 or higher. Well, how do you get a ninja? Well, to get a inja, you have to raise a... Let's see... A skull and a thief to level 30 or higher. So all in all, to unlock this one class, you need to raise one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different classes to at most level 30, just to unlock this one. Whew. Long road, man. I want, and people wonder why it took me so long. Uh, their aptitudes aren't the reason why you want to make this game. Here's why. HP 70. It's abysmal. Ugh, 70. They die so easy. SP 120. Attack 80. Defense 80. Intelligence 110. Resistance 120. Hit 120. Speed 120. Surprisingly good speed. We have Professor. Sophist. Gray Cells. If that's a reference to something, I don't get it. Mad Parser. Alchemist. And Mother Brain. I like that. Um, so yeah, their base ability is Medical inser Insertion. Effective boost magic is increased by 50%. Yay! So I think, like, for example, a base Braveheart increases your attack by 20%. You can increase that if you level up the spell with mana. But if a professor uses it with 50%, it increases your attack by 30%. And it lasts three yeah. turns. Um, I think it goes up by... Yeah! I'm not sure what at level 9 the maximum Braveheart is, but with a 50%, you could easily increase your attack by at least 50%, I'd imagine. Uh, same with intelligence, hit, speed, other things like that, if you teach her those spells. Uh, her next ability is Effective Delivery. Adds two turns to the duration of support magic. Uh, if you're using her mainly as a support character, again, this is a no-brainer. Uh, take out a bunch of uh, your units at the beginning, uh, 
and use a, like a nine person brave heart and bam nine people have over 50 percent attack for nine uh, for five turns damn good isn't it so it lasts a long time uh and her level three ability her third ability is doubles the effect of items that the professor uses don't bother you're not going to be using that uh here are some of the skills she learns and she has this professor class has a bunch of uh, innate skills that can only be used by the professor, and they're amazing. Aside from healing, uh, you know, a professor can learn heal, mega heal, and giga heal, so that's handy to have another healing character. Um, but then, check these out. Uh, you get move up, which increases... Uh, at first, it only adds one tile of movement, but at higher ranks, this can get as high as four tiles. Move up is extremely useful in item roll when passing through a map can be lightning fast when you have speedy characters. So, with one spell, you can increase all your characters' moves movement by up to four. This, this... Just think about that, and especially when movement is very important in the item world and a lot of the X-Dimension maps. Placement is so important in those maps. Then there's the equivalent for, like, jump up. Jump up, you can increase your jumping power, and there are a few maps where this is useful. Uh, you can increase your counter attacks. Amazing throw can increase your throw, so if you have a heavy knight that can throw by six and then use this spell, you can throw much, much further. Which is also very important for certain maps. Magical extension increases how far your magic reaches. Want to stay from a safe distance? Use this and just snipe characters from the other side of the map. Uh, at the base, it's only by one panel, but it might be more if you level it up more. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. And the last one is too many criticals. Uh, when a professor wants to help the group deal direct damage, too many criticals rises to the top of the pile. Cast this on your lead damage dealer, or if you have the heart cannon evil symbol, use this skill on the leader of that group. Heart cannon characters get many extra attacks when allies pound on a nearby target. It's a good damage dealer has this effect active while getting all of those free attacks, the total damage should be quite high. So the moral of the chapter is... Make a professor. <laughs> um, they're... They're hard to unlock. Um, they're hard to get mana for, they're hard to learn skills, but they make all of your characters do what they do multiple times better. Uh... Here's a here's a decent strategy. Um, I before I made a, a professor, I actually reincarnated um, something from several classes into them. So what I did was I basically since you need to make a caster, I mean a healer and an omnial monk to get these eventually. Um, what you should do is, or I recommend, have a healer learn and learn, you know, some of the basic buff spells, because that's what she's good at. Of course, you'll have to get Braveheart from somewhere else, as well as Magic Boost. Um, learn the healing spells. I mean, she learns them herself, but mainly for boost spells, and you can also learn Omega and Terra if you want. Then, what I, I reincarnated into a Star Mage, but you could also reincarnate into an Omnio Monk, and they both learn Star Magic. Star Magic... Um, I think it's better to have star magic on this class simply because they'll have enough skills to upgrade with uh, with mana already to bother having, you know, fire, ice, and fire magic. Not to mention I have enough uses that do those damage anyway. And it's nice to have uh, neutral damage. They do good neutral damage with these spells. Uh, my, my professor currently has... Well, when I made a Star Mage, it can learn up the Terra spells pretty easily. So, my my professor has up the Terra Star. And then reincarnate that character finally into your professor when you're ready. Uh, the few spells you didn't learn that you want, you can uh, go into the char character world and teach her a few more additional boost spells. But it's also a good idea to go to the character world because... Her aptitude and HP is horrible. Oh, actually, speaking of aptitudes, I didn't read the Mother Brain's aptitudes. HP, 95. Stone, not 100. SP, 145. Attack, 105. 
Defense 90, Intelligence 135, uh, Resistance 145, Hit 145, Speed 135. Uh, that's surprisingly good hit and speed. Um, well, then again, they can learn guns. Actually, the hit and speed average is slightly higher than intelligence. I suppose you could teach them. I suppose you could use guns with this class instead. That's not what I did, but... Typically, when I think of casting magic, I, I just use a wand anyway. Oh, that miss is gonna hurt me. But thanks to the heart cannon. Do I get her? No. Oh, two misses and a nick. That was just the worst luck. But, um... You'll be my Tessa. So yeah, her, her power isn't going to be great. She mainly complements your other characters. Uh, with Star Magic, you can use her to finish off weakened enemies and have her level up fairly well. Um, oh, I'm going to get her this time. <laughs> now with all my characters on the there. attack, plus 50. Um, so they're well worth the effort to make. Uh, Post-game, normal game... What have you? Although I'll be surprised if you if you make if you how early you could effectively make them since you do have to level them up to level thirty, which will take a while to grind for early games. None. Ah, now the rest isn't so hard, especially since I miraculously still have my healer, so I can take my time with those dragons and just heal as necessary. I'll see you in the tension! That wasn't how she sounded at all. Ugh, I have to work on my professor impersonation here. Oh, the, my medication! <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, resistance is negative 25% to fire, 25% to wind and ice. Throwing range is 3, movement is 4. Horrible. Again, go into character world and increase this. <laughs> I'd imagine it would hurt a lot to actually punch a dragon made entirely of bone. Oh, Gotta love that heart cannon. I've used that heart cannon, folks. I'm also curious what a mad parser is. I don't think I've ever heard of parser. I do like the Metroid reference though from Other Brain. Uh, the equivalent to the professor or something close to it was the cheerleader in Disgaea 3. I never bothered to get that reference. I thought they looked pretty stupid to be honest. Kind of weird looking. The professor just looks awesome. I made that point clear. Mage ninjas? No, not the smelly breath. Uh, so, I mean, I told you, long ass fight. And my friend was actually here watching this with me. And he's just like, you know, on the edge of his seat. Is he gonna do it? And it's like, well, once you take care of the, the boss, um, we're just saying too bad. I mean, the attack plus 50 percent really helps a lot. Those dragons can be a bitch, though, because all physical damage from them is half. So imagine a giant fused uh, slime dragon zombie. Half, half damage from physical attacks and half damage from non-elemental attacks. So most physical attacks, because they aren't elemental, will do a quarter damage. That's nice. I think I'm able to... It would make sense to be able... I mean, after you defeat the enemy, you should be able to make him. So you should be able to make the dragon zombie after... This map, although I can't remember. If you remember, um, you can make each character's um, be a certain personality, and there's the um, incomprehensible ninja. They're like, Sushi, 
Mount Fuji! You know, just basic Japanese words. <laughs> Those things are tough. All right, last enemy. <laughs> what is she saying there? It always sounds like you want to get crack. I'm like, no, I'm good, thanks. I have no need for the hard stuff. I want to get crack. I didn't want to try to attack from the front. And boom goes the dynamite. That ends this chapter. Yay, dragons! The chief of the information bureau lost. I will never admit that fact. I control every bit of information. Therefore, if I don't acknowledge that I lost, then it means that I didn't lose. Is that your own personal form of denial? You're wrong! It's a fact! The information that I release becomes the reality of the netherworld! But you lost, so you're just in denial. That's not very final boss-like. You're wrong! As long as I don't admit it, the fact that I allegedly lost doesn't exist. Have it your way. I shall simply be forced to destroy you over and over again. What? Until you admit defeat, I will use every ounce of power I possess to destroy you hundreds of thousands of times. Uh, hundreds? Don't underestimate my persistence. I'll give you the real Hades treatment until your soul is broken. Over and over, forever! Oh, forever? Wow, how former tyrantly of you. I could really feel the weight of your threat. Yes, I learned a very valuable lesson. <laughs> Tyrant? And that power? By any chance, are you Tyrant Valvatores? You got that right! That legendary tyrant is still alive! And works as a printing instructor! Uh, uh, and wh wh what would such a tyrant be up to now? What is your objective? Hm. I thought you'd never ask. Right here, see? On the second line on this article, there's a typo right here. Please allow me to explain on his behalf. What my esteemed Lord Valvatores is trying to communicate to your plebeian mind is... We are the rebels of Hades who have stepped forward to usurp the regime. We will send this rotten corruptorment and its president crashing down bring Hades to this world and teach everyone a lesson. And I'm going to be the new president. Desco is going to be the final boss. And what about you, Rascal? I never once thought about who I really was. I always thought I deserved to be respected and obeyed just because I was the son of the president. But when they announced that I was dead, I lost that identity and realized something for the very first time. I can't do anything. I'm such a powerless demon. I failed all of my tasks. And as death, I've never even taken anyone's life. Yeah, that's right. I'm a co That is absolutely correct. Job! You've got yourself down pat! That's an impressive self-analysis. You deserve praise for that. What are you? Monsters? Let him finish what he has to say. Go on. Okay. Anyway, I'm fully aware of all that now. But that's why. 
I want to earn the recognition I deserve with my own power. And Measle, the president's son, who used to ride his father's coattails, is indeed dead forever. From now on, I'm going to carve out a life of my own as Death and Measle. And that is my final answer. When I become a great demon who Pops would be proud of, that's when I'm going to let the entire world know that I'm alive! Until that day comes, I don't care if everyone thinks I'm dead. So, you will become a full demon on your own merits, Rascal. Do you promise right here, right now? Promise, huh? I gotta keep any promises I make, right? Otherwise, I... That's right. Otherwise, you will learn the full weight of a promise through severe pain. Will you still make that promise? I can, and I will! I will become a great demon all on my own! Good. That's what I like to hear, Rascal. Now become an official member of our party, and fight to usurp the regime in time. You will be able to challenge your father for superiority. Well, well, I don't really intend to have to be superior to my father. Tyrant Valva Torres gained another comrade and took another step towards completing his goal. Emizel's vows to part from his old life, only to return as a proud and noble demon, will later be known throughout history as the Vow of the Phoenix and will have a significant influence on the Netherworld education system. Oh, not only do the rebels count Tyrant Valvatores among their ranks, but now Sir Amiesel too! I must report this to the President! Hold it right there! Before you do that, I need you to pay this invoice. Dude! 37,564 hell that drained into the netherworld due to the Information Bureau neglecting its responsibilities. 53,181 hell for damages caused in Celestia by concealing, forging, and manipulating information. Plus all other illegally obtained profit. I'm here to collect a grand total of 1,192,296 hell. Uh, dude. You! That awkwardly placed dude. You're not a real Prinny, are you? You can't deceive an experienced Prinny instructor with that force! Reveal yourself! <laughs> you are correct. Not bad. There's an angel inside that Prinny? Could she be the Angel of Avarice? That's just the stupid nickname that some demons gave to me without my consent. You can call me... How about... Volcanus? Well, could you? What are you doing in the Netherworld? I, I, th I thought you died! Artina! We were met with a surprising appearance on our path to usurping the regime. Who is she? You called her Artina. What do you mean you thought she was dead? I can't believe some people give sardines a bad rap because they smell bad. It's rather depressing. Sardines again? But they do smell bad. They're like super fishy. Who can stand that smell anyway? Just rinse them really well and you will taste just how great these fish are. So just rinse them off. Until you're content, then just trick yourself into eating them. So you have to be tricked into eating them? Next time, Episode 5, A Tyrant's Pain. Do Japanese sardines have bluebacks? Don't forget the fishy smell. The more fat on a fish, the more fishier it'll smell. <laughs>